The advent of cryptocurrencies and their underlying blockchain will forever change the financial landscape. Although at the same time, we're still decades away from flying cars and human-like robots. The aftermath of the post-COVID-19 era brings with it an increased need for a safe, secure, and seamless means to transfer money. Hence the widespread adoption of cryptocurrencies in recent times. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse speaks of the possibilities of an XRP exchange-traded fund launching in the U.S. market. The Ripple boss had hinted about this just as he went on to comment on the SEC's shady demands for clarity and discovery while failing to provide the same on the regulatory front, which is the commission's sworn duty. Do you seek a platform that allows you to make some extra bucks with your dormant crypto portfolio on popular decentralized exchanges like Uniswap, OneInch, and the like? Are you in search of a fully autonomous fiat savings account for liquidity providers that employs some DYDX with leverage? If so, your days of worries are over, as your stable pool platform was created specifically for that and more. Once signed up on the platform, just below the dashboard, you can click on the top-up button to add the cryptocurrency and the corresponding amount that you wish to deposit or stake on the platform. After that, be sure to hit the Open Staking button to view how much of your staked amount will be earned as interest within 12 hours, a number between 0.1 to 0.2%. And within a year, you'd have made two times your initial stake crypto without incurring any risk whatsoever. Want to know what the best part is? Once signed up on the platform within the stipulated time frame until Sunday, October 31st, after that, you automatically qualify to earn a reward of $50 in a random cryptocurrency. Welcome back to Make Money Online. If you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on post notifications. News about the newly launched Bitcoin ETF by ProShares, a subsidiary of the ProFunds Group, on Tuesday, October 19th, on the New York Stock Exchange has sprouted several speculations. While some think that Ethereum's price is at the mercy of Bitcoin's futures ETF boost, experts foretell that news of the launch of the first-ever Bitcoin futures contract by ProShares could mean the launch of more future ETFs in the United States and for the foreseeable future. These assumptions have been flying and following the approval of the ProShares Bitcoin futures contract by the SEC after a 75-day review of the said investment instrument. As such, experts and critics have all come to this one singular agreement on this one. It's only a matter of time before we see an Ethereum ETF or a Cardano ETF, a BNB ETF, or perhaps an XRP ETF. Speaking of an XRP-pegged exchange-traded fund, the CEO of Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse, has aired his concerns about the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission for picking winners and losers in the crypto business, while adding that his company is likely going to see the launch of an XRP exchange-traded fund launching in the U.S. when asked about the prospects of such by Fox Business's chief reporter, Charles Gasparino, during an interview between the two on Monday, October 18th. Mr. Garlinghouse did not shy away from the thoughts of an XRP exchange-traded fund coming to the U.S. stock market. Just as he doubles down on his frustration regarding the level of uncertainty and lack of clarity that has clouded the United States financial regulatory arm with regards to crypto regulation. As the price of XRP continues to face fundamental uncertainty following the SEC's lawsuit filed against Ripple, the Ripple boss had gone forth to express his concern on the SEC's prioritization of other assets with a more energy emission capacity, such as Bitcoin, over a cryptocurrency with carbon zero emission rates like XRP. As such, the Ripple CEO has pointed the direction of the elites to the SEC's many irregularities. Given that the approval of a Bitcoin ETF has nullified the sustainable climate agenda presented by the SEC, Choosing Bitcoin over XRP despite Gary Gensler's climate agenda and the enormous power consumption and emission rate needed to transact a single Bitcoin don't align with the Commission's climate protection policy. Even though many crypto enthusiasts believe that the environmental concerns raised by the growing Bitcoin mining hash rate in the US might soon be ancient history, just as the Twitter sister company Square reveals its plans to develop a Bitcoin mining system based on custom silicon that would significantly reduce the energy consumption rate while making the mining process readily accessible to all interested parties, whether big or small. Adopting a highly sustainable futures trading investment instrument, such as the XRP ETF over a Bitcoin, is a step towards achieving the dream of carbon-negative crypto industry. The increasing need for such an ecosystem is due to several reasons, including China's recent crackdown on crypto mining, which has seen the U.S. emerging as the most significant contributor to Bitcoin mining hash ratio, producing a whopping 35% of the entire carbon emission released by Bitcoin mining globally. Thus, the Ripple CEO has become agitated at the news of this, 
Furthermore, given the selection of Bitcoin over XRP in terms of an exchange-traded fund, it will conveniently increase Bitcoin mining, thus significantly increasing the carbon footprint, which goes against the Commission's climate agenda. While making these remarks in an exclusive interview with the Fox Business News reporter, Mr. Gallinghouse went on to buttress his point by comparing Bitcoin's energy consumption rate, which has provided critics with an apt source of criticism for the model cryptocurrency in recent times, to that of XRP. The Ripple executive added that the Bitcoin network requires about 100,000 times more energy than XRP. And he indicated that an estimated amount of 75 gallons of gasoline is needed to power a single Bitcoin transaction. The growing concerns regarding the carbon footprint deposited by Bitcoin have become a common sentiment today. Thus, that problem definition introduced mixed emotions regarding cryptocurrency trading. The carbon emission rate of cryptocurrencies has received much criticism from supporters and opposers. Ripple recently entered into a $44 million eco-focus partnership with Lincoln, Nebraska-based financial services provider Nelnet, through which the blockchain-based payment company Ripple will offset the carbon emission rate of the crypto industry while supporting the development of solar energy projects across the U.S. Thus, the argument for mining Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies from clean energy and waste energy streams continues to grow stronger. Ripple CEO has gone on to presume that the SEC has stayed numb regarding the status of the world's second biggest crypto, Ethereum, thus favoring the asset on one end while dipping its innovation on the other. Seeing as the financial agency has been sitting on a stockpile of numerous Ether ETF requests pending approval from the commission. This trend has got the Ripple CEO hinting about launching a physically backed exchange traded product or ETP for XRP, such as the one provided by CoinShares. Once debuted on the US stock market, the XRP ETP can be bought and sold the same way as shares or funds, thereby granting investors the opportunity to invest in the XRP tied futures contract via an existing investment platform or broker, whereby the value of these securities will be derived from the underlying cryptocurrency, just as the entire XRP to be traded will be conveniently held by an institutional grade regulated digital asset custodian. But the question here is will the SEC ever approve an XRP based ETF or ETP? Given the Commission's ongoing lawsuit against Ripple regarding the status of XRP, do you think the SEC will be disposed to pass a fair judgment towards an XRP ETF in the future? Of course, the answer to that question lies in the outcome of the legal battle between Ripple and the SEC. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and turn on bell notifications. We also have a free Discord group where we share daily signals, and now you can also support us on Patreon. We have a special offer for our first 100 members, only $9.99 for our VIP Discord channels, where we share much more in-depth analysis and even one-on-one -on -one sessions. And make sure you check out the GSX competition for your chance to win big. Links are below, and if you have any questions, drop us a comment. And we'll see you next time.